Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 online game. Today we have the New England Patriots and the Detroit Lions in the sub game. I got the Lions for this game, my opponent the Patriots, and in this video I intended on doing a season preview of, um, you know, the NFC and then the next video I would do the AFC, but because of my whole laptop situation, if you didn't watch the last pack opening video I did, uh, my laptop's kind of bug been bugging out lately when I used to record my stuff, so... I'm still, I'm borrowing someone's laptop, so that's how I was able to record this game here and put it out for you guys, so, you know, I still got gameplays for you guys, but I definitely don't have time, because along with this problem, I'm really busy over the weekend, I barely have time to, you know, do videos, and look at this beautiful bait that I dropped, that sucks, that was so nice, I might have had a chance to take that for six, instead, it's all for nine, here, third down eight, once again, he tries to come at me, but this time, a head of has my back, since I was a little bit off, and we're at the pick, and then look at a head of trying to make a play out of this thing, we hit the back juke there, unfortunately, Nick Fairley is too fat to go and pick up a block, so, you know, I don't get a block there, and we can't take it for six. Nonetheless, we get the ball in pretty much field goal range to start off. But yeah, that's my situation. It's, you know, not too big of a deal right now. Eventually, you know, I will get my laptop fixed. Though, in the meantime, you know, it's probably just going to be a few, um unranked games against subs and stuff like that or just like any normal team games no mutt games no um drew Payne, no 2k because all that stuff is on my laptop right now but um one thing, and like I mentioned, I'm like really time strapped here, so I like I had stuff saved up for this weekend that I was gonna, you know, be able to record, but when I had that laptop problem, that all that time and all those gameplays went away. So yeah. So um anyways, into this game here, second down a goal, run the ball bush here, a big third down to try to get a touchdown, and we just squeezed that one in. I honestly thought that first of all, I wasn't sure Durham was gonna catch it on the spot route there. Second of all, I thought he might have been out at the one yard or uh, you know, he was, like, down to one-yard line. But instead, we get the touchdown, and I'm not complaining about that. So, I go up 7 nothing, Big play there. And then we injure Tom Brady. So, you know, that works out well for us. But, um, yeah, like I mentioned before, I want to do the season preview. I'll just probably do that sometime later on this weekend whenever I get my laptop working or situations like that. Or just when I have time, you know. So, as we force my opponent to punt the ball here and Jeremy Ross trying to get a decent return. I will try to, you know, do a little preview of week one. Now, I won't be able to put my, um, th my, um, picks in the video, but I'll put a link in the description or something like that of, um, you know, what teams I think I'm going to win and stuff like that. Because usually I'll do that, like, during a halftime show or something like that. As we find Golden Tate, new acquisition of the Detroit Lions, wide open. Instead, you know, I just don't have that time. So, I'll, you know, we'll get it back going to, um, back to normal eventually. But in the meantime, here we are handing the ball to Reggie Bush. And right now, our offense is pretty efficient right now. Our defense is holding it down. The offense finding Calvin Johnson on the drag out. Hitting the spin move there so we can get a few extra yards before the dude knocks us down. Here, first and goal. Just another tight pass squeezed in there. And it's caught once again i wasn't sure it was gonna be caught but it was caught so i'm okay with that next play we just run the ball on reggie bush and that was a perfect drive because we only gave him 13 seconds to you know try to score any points before half and since he doesn't get this kick return you know we're looking in good shape to go into half up 14 nothing and we get ball coming out of half and then on top of that we get the pick here with slay i'm like you know what we could do something with this. We could get some points out of this. So I slide down at the one yard line or 41 yard line. I'm like, you know what? Let me see if I can kick this field goal. Now, David Akers isn't on this team anymore. So this freeze guy apparently does not have the leg no matter how far I push the kick meter down. So I was like, all right, I'll just take a shot from Megatron. And that definitely didn't work. I didn't get the ball up in time. So. You know, we go into happy. Yeah, some of my thoughts for some of the big games in week one in this video, I'll just leave them in here. Like the Saints versus the Falcons. I think this is the second year in a row they're matching up in week one. And, you know, the Saints have dominated this matchup recently. And I'm, you know, even though they're on the road, I'm inclined to pick the Saints. I just think that, you know... I mean, it's going to be a close game. Saints and Falcons games are usually close, no matter whether the teams are good or bad, it seems like. Like, last year, the Falcons weren't good. Games were still close, but, um... I don't know, I just feel like the Saints, they'll, they'll be able to pull out the upper edge, whether it's offensively or defensively. This year's second down 19, he gets that streak route to go. He's down 14 nothing, so he definitely needs to get something, anything going, and he almost, second time we drop a beautiful bait there. That's how I sent the blitz. I'm like, I'm watching Gronk, and I had him perfectly, but we dropped it. Like, all right. But yeah, I do think the Saints are going to win that. Um, Let's see, what other big games? Bengals versus Ravens. I actually feel like the Ravens have a good shot at winning the game, because, um... I don't know, I just feel like, you know, Cincinnati, you know, they just, 
they lost Mike Zimmer and Jay Gruden, so I don't know how to feel about them, especially early on this season, getting um, adjusted to a new offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator as we hit the beautiful Juke or Reggie Bush, and we take it 62 yards for a touchdown there. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, I don't know how they're going to get acclimated. Now, the Ravens have new offense coordinator and stuff like that, but, I mean, they're bound to improve that, like, god-awful running game and offensive line problems they had last year. So I do think, you know, even though the Bengals might still be the better team, the Ravens could pull out that week one win. Um, let's see, Texans and Redskins, that's not too big of a game, but, um, probably gonna be a close game, probably gonna be a close game, and I feel like, you know, Washington has the better shot, cause I, I just don't feel confident in the Texans quarterback situation with Fitzpatrick, and, you know, the defense is looking good, a little bit overrated to many people, like, a lot of people are just seem saying J.J. Watt and Jadavian Clown are gonna hold people to negative five points, I don't know about that, but, you know, it'll take them a little bit, you know, they have a new coach and stuff like that. And not just a new coach. They have, like, you know, Fitzpatrick at quarterback. Clowney is a rookie. So, I don't know how, you know, how to get it going in week one. I think the Redskins might be just a little bit more prepared to get something going in week one. They have RG3. They have Deshaun Jackson. That's a new acquisition that they could just plug in in week one. They don't need to get acclimated too much. That's just straight speed right there. Along with that Alfred Morris running game. So, you know, Redskins, they should be good. As you see, um, late in the game, my opponent trying to get something going here at the goal line. He needs to get a touchdown. He actually just goes for the field goal and takes his points. So I was like, all right, whatever. Whoever folds your boat. Um, let's see, other big games, Panthers and Bucks. I kind of feel like, you know, I a lot of people are not so positive on the Panthers and positive on the Bucks. I'm not positive on the Bucks that would have picked them to, like, make the playoffs as a wild card or anything. And I'm definitely not positive in the Panthers to pick them to win, um, any sort of playoff spot. But I do think the Bucks, you know, at home could take care of the Panthers in week one. As you see, third down two. Big third down here. Pretty much game on the line, even though, you know, it's an 18-point game. Game's pretty much already over. And we get that first down just to make sure, you know, we got it all clinched up. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's run a flea flicker for the hell of it. And look at Calvin Johnson burning Revis over the top for that touchdown. So, um, yeah, Cowboys versus Niners. Um, even though the Niners' defense is a little bit banged up, I think their offense could actually help them win that game against that Cowboys' defense. You got Crabtree, Stevie Johnson, Bolden, Gore. That should be enough. And Kaepernick. That should be enough to beat the Cowboys. Even though, you know, the Cowboys, they got Romo and Dez. So, you know, that's going to be some something going. As far as um, Colts and Broncos, um, I'll save that for Sunday. I had I had that game saved up for Sunday night, so I'll pick that game Sunday night. Um, and plus, you guys will see that link eventually, so you guys will see that stuff. Um, Jet, Giants and Lions, the Monday night game. I biasedly will pick my Giants on Monday, all right? I just, you know, I like the Lions this year. I just want to pick my Giants, all right? I want to see how it goes. I want to see how we do, all right? Just give, just give me that, all right? Just give me that game. And then as far as Chargers and Cardinals, I think the Chargers come through at that game. So that's some week one stuff. That's this game against the sub. Good game to him. But we were just so downright efficient offensively. Stafford had a great game that we come through at the win. So if you guys leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 15 online games and all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys next time.